Oh, I am excited to see this next athlete, Cameron Baumgartner. He fell off uh, Fidget Finale on Stage 1 last year, but went on to clear Stage 2 in the Strongest Ninja, made it all the way to the Edge of Dreams. He was the first person to beat Kane Track last year. Coming out of Ultimate Ninja's Naperville, we saw his girlfriend, Carissa Cazola, earlier today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully her run is behind him. And, I mean, obviously... Uh, his, his run focused. with him, but he Cameron focused. is focused for the next one minute and 20 seconds on nothing but that buzzer. And Cam, one of those ninjas that I think could really push the pace here. We didn't see him go right off the rope, but Links nothing the wrong second with that. That's okay. This is a rest, says Derek Pavoni. That's true. You don't want to go too fast on short line, but you don't want to take too long because that really puts you behind the eight ball as you can tell he is already quite a bit behind some of the fastest paces. But he does have a whole lot of power, which makes me have a, a good idea that he's got a great chance to beat stage one, even with, okay, he's got 42 seconds left, so he was pretty quick on uh, boardwalk. And these sideways grabs proving absolutely no problem for him. I love what I'm seeing, just one backswing, and then he is going. 30 seconds. Now he jumps to that barrel. That was the strategy that uh, Jamie Ron has been showing. And he only needs two oh, swings, wow. 20 seconds. Plenty of time. I hope he just stays locked in here. He looked really focused at the beginning of his run and you see him pausing before going for the throw, making sure he's got the swing. 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And they're telling him to stay calm there. He's got time. Going for the He can even take an extra swing to find the dismount platform. The crowd getting urgent, but we know that he's Cam Bomb finally through stage one. And we saw what he did in stages two and three last year. Watch out for Cam Baum as a sleeper pick. 